I know that you're a, you're a big cricket fan yourself. Yeah, I love you? the cricket, yeah, and that was a fabulous day. Did you watch it? When well, in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, I'll well, never well, forget yeah. that. What a lovely day that was. Everyone was saying it's unprecedented, like they've never seen a, a final like that. Extraordinary, yeah. Extraordinary. Well, I don't, it was I don't... super over, in it? Which has never been super played over. before, has it? None so. of us knew about that, did we? No. <laughs> well, Mike didn't either. We were talking about that earlier <laughs> on. He was like, hang on, a super <laughs> over. What's one of these? You've just finished playing Grandad in Only Fools and Horses, a yeah. musical. Can I say I'm a massive fan? I watched so it. So have you been to see incredible. it then, Stace? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? I, I, I know, I know you did. Yeah, I, know you, I know you came um, to Did you watch the final? No, I didn't. I was, uh, I'm afraid I was away that day. It was my day off and I, I was, uh, I had to go out for the day. So I missed it. But when I got, I watched it the next night when I got okay. in from the show, the well, highlights. You, but I knew what was coming. Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. You're finished though, haven't you now? Yeah, I'm off. Fools? Well, I haven't finished completely. The show's running on oh, and yeah. I, 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 I'm off for a few months and then I'll go back. Right. Uh, Weren't you two upside down it. at one point? We were in a car yeah, we outside the last time you we were there, on. Yeah. There you go. Went flying, didn't we? <laughs> we did, we yeah, did. In but the old free wheel. Yeah, with magic. <laughs> but you've got a bit more tight. There we are, look, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Which dropped me off for work. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Wait, who, Paul who are you me. talking to me? Yeah. yeah. I don't look like that. No. All right, well, oh, you're met. I was like this at the time. <laughs> I was like this at the time. But you've got, you've got a bit more time for fishing now, of course. You're yeah, in the yeah. new series. We'll get into yeah. that in a little bit. But uh, has he got any better? Has Bob got any better as his fishing? Look, you know, Bob's an enthusiastic half-wit. Uh, <laughs> you take it a bit more seriously, the fishing, and you're across sort of food, accommodation. I'm across the yeah. food, the economy, accommodation. Accommodation. <laughs> Accom <laughs> accommodation. The condiments. The looks, you know. Philosophy. <laughs> yeah, philosophy. Yeah. yeah, I look after it all. All the highbrow stuff. Yeah, Paul's very serious about us fishing, and I think that's why the the, the show works. It's a very yeah. serious business. Everyone yeah. loves it's it. It's a lovely yeah. program. Yeah, yeah, I love it. it. Honestly, it's brilliant. Um, Bob <laughs> and Paul aren't the only ones who have been brought together by a rod and tackle. Thank you for sharing your stories with us there. Um, but Bob, just give us an idea of how this kind of fishing series started for you, because it sort of came from uh, Paul, really, is just to kind of help you out a little bit. Yeah, it came from Paul. I just had a, um, a bypass operation on my heart, and Paul, I think, knew that there's a danger that I'd just sit on the settee and watch television. Right. There's um, always that danger with you, <laughs> isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, uh, and he just... Well, he was very insistent and said, come on, let's get out, and so uh, we'd been threatening to fish for many years. Yeah, and, we'd got as far as buying... It took 15 years to buy in the fishing rod, and then another 15 years before we actually yeah. got out. And it so, took, a, a, you know, quite a serious heart disease for us to get... Yeah, out and, and actually happen. do it, yeah. And I fell in love with it very quick. You know, it's mm. been 40 years. I mean, the the the, um, the, the UK countryside is oh, absolutely yeah. magnificent and I'd ignored it for 40 years, you know, and so Paul took me straight in there. So there was the countryside, there was Paul as a teacher, Paul as a friend. Um, yeah. And a lovely way of, you know, a lovely, a lovely way of just making you realise it's 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 worth carrying on, you know, keep up with your exercise, keep Absolutely. up with your diet and so on. And just kind of getting in tune with the pace of nature as well, because that's yeah. the, when you know about fishing, you know mm. what it can do for the soul yeah, and how it can help. I think it's right because you immerse yourself in it and, you know, you don't normally do that. You walk through it or you ride through it or you, you know, fly you over it. it you don't, yeah, to actually immerse yourself in it and then it sort of comes to you. Yeah. You know, it does, mm. it, it gradually comes around you and it's... Like you very rarely do that in life, you know, sit still or, yeah. or walk stealthily in, through nature. So. Yeah, and as you get older, you very rarely spend just, you know, nothing time with friends. Yeah. You know, there's always something going on or it's busy or you're there for a reason. But me mm. and Paul just sit there for three days and... <laughs> talking and absolute natter, nonsense. Talking nonsense, <laughs> and it's just what people do, and, really. And often you know. a lot of it is better when we don't talk, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> just show the tree. It's interesting because you sort of poke fun at each other and there's a real sense of camaraderie, but actually lots of people have been really complimentary and said actually there's a genuine friendship and you clearly very, you know... Kind of. You care for each other. Kind of. No, yeah, we do. No, it's really yeah. brought us together of both yeah. of us having yeah. heart problems and uh, you know we've known each other a long time we've got a shared sense of humour and we're we're good enough friends that Paul can shout at me and I know it's not, not yeah. for Doesn't real mean no, it. no it makes me laugh this is a really funny story when you were pitching the idea and you were saying look I know there's not going to be a great deal going on but actually there is a bit of jeopardy yeah because one of us might have a heart attack and drop dead on the river <laughs> <laughs> and that is gold TV gold <laughs> <laughs> especially if it's Bob <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, Bob, are you all right? <laughs>
<laughs> but there's so many magic moments between the pair of you. I think on a couple of them it's because I don't have the... I, I, I have very oversized footwear. <laughs> we we, we, we <laughs> thought it would be funny. Well, when you wear your wife's wellies. Well, my wife's wellies. What are you saying about your wife's feet? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we thought it would be funny if my waders were like giant waders. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. And, uh, so I always had these ill-fitted shoes. But, no, I'm, no I, I'm very proud of my falls. Yeah, mm. yeah, you are. <laughs> I love the fact that half the time you're just watching the I am oblivious, the you know, to this clown oh, behind yeah. me. Yeah. But, but you know what was interesting about that clip for me? It was not so much Bob, you know, trying to steal the limelight <laughs> from the British countryside. <laughs> didn't that river look oh, idyllic with it. that light through the trees? And so as, that's the thing we want, you know, we wanted to sort of demonstrate and show people yeah. as well. So as well Scotland. as to say sorry to no, interrupt. No, go on, no, you can't. Um, but to demonstrate that after, you know, a heart problem, a heart disease, which can be quite debilitating, especially mentally, because you're so concerned. You can get out and do stuff and, yeah, and yeah. you know, put those worries behind you to yeah. an extent. Can't yeah. you? But you're not afraid to kind of share stories too. I mean, you're very good when you're in the fishing and you'll just drop in an absolute beauty of a question about your, you know, upbringing or life or fatherhood yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So well, you... I think that's what, you know, that's what we do, me and Paul, you know, so over the, over the two or three days, yeah, they can choose to use some of that material yeah. or they can choose to use something where we're just messing about. And we've tried to get a nice mixture of... Uh, like tomfoolery and a bit of seriousness and as well. Seriousness. I think it works really well. Thank you. I liked it was your first kiss. <laughs> that was my I didn't like that because I missed the fish <laughs> you missed the while he was asking me. <laughs> have you got her here tonight? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah, I talking about first kisses. <laughs> yeah. You are in charge of the, of the catering. I look after um, the catering. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, there's some beautiful food that you've created wow. here uh, from a, an unbelievable style. I don't know where you get your Well, it's meant to be from. heart healthy, Matt. That's right. the idea. Yeah. But you, um, can you see the heart. theme, Matt, that we've developed? The heart healthy theme. The heart healthy, yes. Um, yeah. What is this? This is a cauliflower uh, pizza. Um, well, I presume I've not had yeah, No swearing, Bob, while you're a chef. Do you right. want to play, Todd? Do you want to put it well, straight in your face? Bit. Shall we eat it? It's very nice. Do you wash your hands? I mean, it's not totally heart healthy, it's, um, but it's low carb. Healthy. And you've got this in a book, mm. haven't you? You put your recipes in a book that go alongside the series. Yeah, so. I mean, you I'm... know, the, 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 the beauty of them is this is sardines, feta cheese, oh, yeah. prunes, chestnuts. Did you just throw everything at him? <laughs> <laughs> You're very handy with a camping stove, though, because uh, you disappear off, you know, half an hour beforehand, and then Paul waddles I'm up with his waders so. on, and then you... Waddles? You, you mean waddles. strides manfully? <laughs> Through the countryside. Um, Mortimer and White House Gone Fishing begins on Friday, 8 o'clock on BBC Two, and the book, mm. you've also got a book, that is out now. That's a good base, that. I've not it eaten is, it yet. Hey, <laughs> pretty handy. Anyway, now obviously you can Paul, feel it doing you good. Um, Bob, yeah, you can uh, tour in every nation in the UK in their series, which kind of is what Boris Johnson is doing as we speak. But for